Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing an updated flip through of my Louis Vuitton small ring agenda. This is my wallet and my finance agenda. I've been sharing a lot of updates and videos and I did get a couple of requests um, to do a video so I figured I would do that but um, for those of you that watch the unboxing videos and know what it looks like I'm also going to go a little bit more in depth on how my finances work. I have used to do finance videos and um, I know I haven't really done one in a while so um, just to give you all an update on that and that way y'all can see how everything functions together and how it works and why I love it so much. So again, this is the Louis Vuitton small ring agenda. I did switch out the rings to 16 millimeter cross rings that I purchased from Gilio, and I'll have that video linked below. So as I mentioned, this is my wallet. So I have my driver's license my debit and my um, debit cards over here. These are the main cards that I need. Um, I keep all of my additional credit cards, Costco card, gift cards, all of that in this um, key ring from Louis Vuitton. So this is always in my purse because I don't need it as much unless I'm somewhere specific. So I have, all, I have the main items of what I need in here. Um, I love the size of this as a wallet. So again, if you been watching my channel for a while, um, you know that I used to use the Louis Vuitton medium ring agenda as a wallet once upon a time. And I liked it. I liked the functionality. Um, I liked that I could do like um, cash envelopes in here and that, you know, you have all this room for different cards on the side. However, I just didn't feel, it was just too large in my opinion and for me um, to use this as a wallet. I know a lot of people do. You can find a lot of videos on setting this up as a wallet. And while I love the layout, it just was too big to like carry around. I would have to take my cards out if I wanted to use a smaller bag or, um, if I just didn't want to, you know, pull this thing out in the middle of a grocery store. But I love the size of this one because I can fit it in any clutch. It can go with me anywhere. It's not like extra large. I just pull it out and I can pull out my card or my ID. And I can also just easily reference anything. And it's like the perfect size to take with you on the go. So I love the size of this agenda. And I really just love using this as a wallet and using this for my finances. So let me show y'all everything in here and how everything works. So I have this um, Louis Vuitton inspired sketched dashboard from Salty22. I love this. I just am using this as a page protector up front. Um, I have this 2021 dashboard from Infinite Lotus. All links to everything below that I can link. And then I also have my discount codes, um, especially the one for Infinite Lotus, because I think pretty much all the inserts in here um, are from Infinite Lotus. But we have that. And then I have another Salty 22 Louis Vuitton inspired dashboard. And this is just a vellum. So I did order a inbox, the glass inbox from um, Cloth and Paper. So I'm actually going to put that here when it comes in. We're having really bad weather in Texas and so that's going to be a while and I really wanted to get this video up. So just to show y'all, the inbox will start here and that way I can use this for like sticky notes or whatever I need. But I'm going to put the inbox here and then I have um, these task inserts from cloth and paper and these just have like notes for on the go. I have some travel information in here and then just some account information. I have a breakdown of my paycheck and then I just have some blank spaces too so I can take notes if needed while I'm on the go. Um, but I just have like a really small inbox and then we get into the tabs. So these are the blank top tab dividers, glass top tab dividers from cloth and paper. And I use these for my different um, checking accounts. So I have three checking accounts. I have one for spending, one for my personal debt, and then I have a joint account with my fiance for our um, like utilities, bills, stuff from Mira, groceries, etc. And so I have these stickers from the planner spot to identify which account is which. So spending, debt, joint. Behind each tab, I have a budget tracker from Infinite Lotus. And so I use these for kind of like a checkbook system for each account. And I wanted to implement these into my finances because I really just wanted to keep track of what was of money, what was going where. Um, I've gotten really bad, especially towards the end of the year, on not knowing where every penny of my paycheck's going, and I want to get back into that. So I put these budget trackers behind each tab so I can keep track of each checking account. That is this first section, and then 
the next section is the monthly section. And so each month has a monthly overview. These have all of my paydays in here. And these stickers are from your everyday planner. And then these are the petite stickers from your everyday planner. And these mark all of my personal bills. So with my personal bills, I pay them manually. I don't like auto pay when it comes to them. I want to be able to pay them, see everything, um, keep track of that balance. And so I have, so everything that comes out of here is paid by me manually. I have a joint account. Everything's on auto pay. And so because everything's on auto pay, I just put the utility stickers from the planner spot. These are newer stickers on here so I can mark what day they're coming out. I don't need to check off when they get taken out because they automatically come out. So these are just perfect to put in here and they're really cute as well. So because they're on auto pay, I just have the stickers in, but because these are manual, I like being able to check off when I have to manually pay something. So I just have these in here. And then I love this system. I love how it looks. I added a little paw print for when we had a um, when we had a vet bill, so that way you can always go back and look at it if we need it. And then um, we have the overview. So up here, I just have any three things that need to get done financial wise, or if there's a large purchase, I want to put that in there. Same with these important dates. So I just put in you know tax information, different things like that. And then down here is my favorite part of this page because these are um, non-reoccurring expenses. So these are all reoccurring expenses. You know, I have um, these bills every single month. These are pretty much just subscriptions and installment plans. It's anything that I need to pay that I don't pay monthly, which is why they're non-reoccurring. These are something that could be here one month and then paid off the next. And so I don't want to add them to the calendar just because it'd be so cluttered. It'd be so disorganized. I like the flow of this. And then also everything that comes out on here comes from my bills account or comes out of my joint account. So these are everything that comes out of my bills account. And then these stickers are everything that comes out of our joint account. And then this is all my personal spending, all my personal purchases. And so all of these actually come out of my spending account. And so this helps keep it organized. So I like having this here because I have that additional like check system in here to make sure that everything gets paid. Um, and then we have these financial overview inserts. Again, these are from Infinite Lotus as well. Um, so this is where I just track my income. Um, expenses. I haven't done the full totals yet for January. And then we have um, savings and then you can do your final balance and then put any notes here. And then I have this expense page from Infinite Lotus. And so this has the amounts for everything on here. Um, so this is just the overview. For me, I really like having the monthly visual view. It just really helps. And then I also like having the list of everything that needs to be paid. So um, you have the date, the bill, and then the amount, and then you can have your total. And then I have this line here. So, so this is all of our utilities. And then underneath this line is just non-reoccurring again. So, um, bed appointment, Netflix subscriptions, um, that come out of our joint. On the back, I have everything for my, um, personal bills account. And so this is all the reoccurring charges. So we have, um, all of my credit cards, um, and loans and then the line and then we have the non-reoccurring charges and so that's everything that's on um down here but each month has that and then I also added an order tracker to the back so right now it's February I have this bookmark from cloth and paper in here so I can easily just flip to the month and see where we're at see what needs to be paid and then again overview and then I haven't built out the financial overview yet but um same situation and then expenses and then I added the order trackers and so these actually came in this month and so now every month I'll have the order trackers so I can keep track of what's coming in, um, how much I'm spending and making sure that I know where my orders are at um, and I just have that for each month and I, again I just really love this. I love that I can easily reference anything on the go. I just love the size because it's Perfect. Like, as y'all can see, like, I have plenty of room in here for everything. Um, I don't need anything else. If I do, you know, need an extra order tracker, like, probably, like, around Christmas or um, different things like that, then I can always just add another page if needed. But 
I like having the full six months in here so that if something does pop up, I can instantly add it. Like if we need to travel or um, like for example, school, um, I can instantly write that in whenever I get those amounts. Um, but yeah, that's everything in here. And then I just have again, the full six months of inserts and that is the setup. So yeah, other than that, that is the setup and that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.